Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa Morell and today we are looking at winter coats. So I've been in the car for three hours. I'm completely creased up. Um, but as you know, I always do wear a white t-shirt when I come out shopping because it allows you to mix and match with absolutely everything. Um, right now, I'm not looking particularly stylish, but just casual for a shopping trip. So I've got some black sambas on. I've got some jeans from Mango, which I just cut to the right level. And then, I've got this short coat on, which is from H&M. It's really nice, I find it really useful, but it was really expensive. It was like 169 pounds. So do I think it's worth that? I'm hoping to find you something cheaper today, basically. But it is good when you just want more of a cropped, easy style of jacket on, rather than something long. So um, let's get shopping. Okay, so I'm now in Mango. So lots to choose from here. Starting off with this really beautiful coat. I have this myself, but in the light beige color. And I find it just goes with absolutely everything. The reason I personally like this coat is because it comes a little bit shorter on me. So when I do have my trainers on, it's not dragging on the floor like it is with the cos coat. Well, it's not exactly dragging on the floor, but you know, if it's wet outside, I don't want to get the bottom wet. So this is slightly shorter on my five foot three and a bit frame. The color is absolutely lovely. I'm hoping that the camera is picking that up for you. It's the handmade wool coat. I'm wearing it in an extra small and that's £139 and it comes in lots of different colours as well. So back down the practical route again, great for dog walking in, great for just being around town, easy, light. Nice khaki green is going to be most people's neutral, like a darker neutral. It means it goes with absolutely everything. And yeah, I really yeah, like that. So, that said, it yeah. does come in lots of different colours as well. And it's got a detachable hood on it. I'm loving this one as well. So really successful today in Mango. The pattern on this is lovely, slight herringbone. It's a really soft grey colour, almost slightly grey blue, I would say. It's very reminiscent of a Reese coat as well. I feel like it's got the same sort of quality. Can you see the cuffs there? It hangs really nicely. It's got nice drape on it. I think that one would definitely be coming home with me if I hadn't already <laughs> bought way too many winter coats this year. But yeah, very, very nice. Really like that one. Next, I've just sneaked in a Mac for you because we're not quite there at winter yet, are we? And on a day like it is today, you need a little bit of something, but not as big as a winter coat. I think I've shown this one before, but I'm showing it again in case anybody has missed it because it is a really good one. It's got strength here in the shoulders. It fits most of my clients really well. It's not too drapey, but it's not too structured at the same time. So it seems to be a good one on most people. And that's where it comes to on myself. And I believe it to be shower proof, but you need to check that yourself on the website. Oh, and I nearly forgot, I'm wearing it in an extra small and I can still do it up. So they're obviously coming up a little bit big, but yeah, very nice. And they do it in multiple colorways as well. I think they do it in a green, like a dark green, this color and maybe the black as well. So next we've got a more of a structured handmade wool coat. So the others have been quite relaxed at where this one actually sits on the shoulders. So most people need this broadening as I'm sure you have seen in the videos. And so this coat gives a really nice combination of relaxed and smartness at the same time. It's got all the button details there just helping to elevate it say overall it gives a smarter look these changing rooms honestly are an absolute nightmare i can see why everybody wants to buy on line and try on at home but that's why we're trying to do the hard work for you and the final coat to show you is this wrap coat from mango nice cuff detail 
It's got the wrap around the waist. I think this is an extra small, but if it's not, then I will change it on the description box in the comment section. That hangs really nicely. Often these dressing gown ones can add a lot of bulk, but this isn't necessarily doing so. Obviously you could just have it open as well, and that's really nice. That's the length it comes to. It is a little bit dropped off the shoulders there, so if you're already a little bit broad, then you might want to avoid that. Unless you're tall, if you're tall and you've got the broadness, then you can probably carry that off absolutely fine. But when you're short and broader and it's going to be long, it could be a little bit overwhelming on you. But generally speaking, a really nice coat. I am now in Arquette. Arquette is the sister shop to H&M. So you can get their products on the H&M website as well as direct through Arquette. Got this lovely jacket on, but it's in a UK 8 and it's swamping it's massive can you see that when it's done up it's not so big on me actually i think it would help if i had a boot on because if you're taller than me anything like i'm five three and a half then that is going to come at a really nice mid thigh length and it can be done up like that so that is lovely i love a high neck like that in winter it keeps you all nice and warm so my advice on this one is if you like it then i would suggest definitely going down i would be buying that in a UK 6 and bearing in mind I'm usually a UK 8 to 10 but it's a lovely wool blend it's a gorgeous colour as well sort of that fluffy type of wool almost Bigfoot <laughs> bear like if you know what I mean but yeah it is very nice but I think it'd be better if you were taller or if I was wearing it as a going out coat and would wear it with some heels rather than trainers but I want to be able to wear my coats with trainers just like I do the heels so it's got to be versatile enough for me to warrant the money on something like this but it is very nice for someone. So next we've got two coats that are very similar so the first one I've got on is in the black and I know you struggle to see the black clothes against any sort of dark background so if I turn you around to show you the green equivalent it's in a slightly different fabric there we go it's in like a quilted fabric I'll put that on for you in a minute but that is the same style there as I am wearing here just in case you can't make it out I'm wearing it in a UK 10 at the moment so this is like the wool version and that's the quilted version both are really nice. Size 10 feels a little bit big on the shoulders, but I think once you've got a winter jumper on underneath, it would actually look very nice. I think lengths are generally getting a little bit shorter this winter on coats. So really nice, really easy, feels light to wear as well. And there you go, there it is in the green. So like I say, it's exactly the same style, but it, this is kind of the lightness that it's for an autumn day rather than a big, heavy winter coat anyway. It's the sort of, sort of jacket that is absolutely perfect for what I'm doing today, which is a little bit nippy, out in the shops, can easily throw it on, throw it off. It doesn't add any extra weight, but still looks really nice and stylish. So next we've got the puffer jacket from Arquette. Now the reason I'm showing you this is first of all, the short one is really nice. I tend to wear these in the winter when I'm walking the dog, perhaps got some gym leggings on, something on those lines. It's practical, it's made from down, so it's very warm, but they also do the long versions in these as well. They just haven't got it in store right now to show you, but I'm going to put a picture up if I can find one of the long version. And the long version from Marquette is kind of quite well known um, in, I suppose, the um, influencer circle because everybody tends to wear them. And that's because they're warm, they're stylish, and they're really practical. Um, they've got inside pockets, for example, they've got hoods, they're actually properly waterproof. So, sorry I can't show you the longer version right now. If it was in the shop, I would, but that's the shorter version just so you can get an idea of the fit. And I'm wearing at the moment. European small in that. And before I leave Arquette, I just wanted to show you their polo neck jumpers. So they are cashmere blend, 
I love how the polo neck sits. This is the dark brown. Um, they've got them all online. Right now I'm just wearing it loose and um, hanging out, but they look really nice when they're tucked in. So a chocolate brown one like this would look really nice with a cream jean for the winter. And so keep it sort of lighter on the bottom maybe, or put with blue jeans would also look really nice. But the shape of them, it's just really nice. It just kicks up just slightly at the side there. Quality is lovely. Hopefully you can see the neckline there is really nice and big as well. I wear it up like that, but there's no reason why you couldn't fold it under if you wanted to. So I'm now in Marks and Spencers where I found loads of coats, but the coats are so heavy that I can't get them all into the changing room. So I'm going to try and try a few out here. Also the changing rooms here are rubbish in terms of the size and the lighting, so we might be better out here anyway. So this long puffer is gorgeous, the colour is lovely, it's got zipped lined pockets in. It's got the zip here at the front. Then it's also got the buttons, so you could prestard that in. It's got a hood, keeping it practical. I haven't looked to see if it's showerproof or anything. I'll put the links down. When I'm out shopping, it's really hard to do everything, look at fabric compositions, check that they're on the website and all of that. So we will do all our work in terms of getting it onto the website. You can just do that final little bit of checking before you purchase for yourself, then that would be really helpful because there's very little internet reception when we come into the shopping centres. But yeah, I really like that. So I'm five, three and a half. It comes to a good length. That to me is a perfect coat for being on the rugby pitch with. And I'm wearing it in a UK size 10 and that feels just about right on me once I've got a winter coat underneath. Okay, so I did actually just see the fabric on the last one when I took it off. It was shower proof and it was a down jacket. This is also another down jacket. I haven't seen that this is shower proof, but it is down in fabric composition. A little bit longer than the last one, chocolate brown. It also does come in, I think what they call like the rose quartz color. I've just stuck my hat on just to give you the sort of overall winter look. But I really like that one as well. It's got press studs on the buttons rather than zips. The pockets are all lined so they feel really nice and cosy. And yeah, sorted for sort of winter days now with something like that. And like I say, I'm always on the side of a rugby pitch so that would be absolutely perfect. And one thing I should say about this coat is that you have got the double-ended zip which means that you can open it up down the bottom and it allows you to walk more freely and then do it at the top or obviously you can have it all the way down as well. So really good, really practical styling. And for something a little bit more lightweight, you've got something like this, really nice again. This also comes in a navy blue as well. Curved at the edges, always flattering because it will help elongate the leg and it's in a nice quilted type of fabric but it feels really light it's got a pull in the middle as you can see there inside pocket so Marks and Spencer's are great for practical styling but still really nice cut of coats so I finally got myself into the changing rooms and just trying on something a bit different two items one is the fleece that's under here got a huge neck on it like that but you wouldn't wear it like that when you're wearing a coat like this you just wear it more open like that this is a corduroy coat but with a fleecy lining in just thought it looked a little bit different actually just from everything else i put it on with these cream boots i'm going to try it on just with my t-shirt I'm actually wearing a UK size 18 in it at the moment because that's all that was available. It definitely is coming up a bit small so even though I'm an 8 to 10 I probably would buy it in a size 12. But let me just take the bulk off from underneath and see what it looks like. There you go, that's better definitely without the bulk underneath it. That's really nice. A bit different from all the dark jackets that we've been trying on and that's the kind of just throw on layer rather than the one that you're going to rely on for the heavy winter days. So next we've got more of a flying jacket rather than the puffer style of jacket. I really like these. They're classic, they come back every single year. This is the Marks and Spencers one. I'm wearing it in a size 10 at the moment, 
but even though it looks quite big, it actually feels quite tight on my arms. And knowing that I'd be wearing this in, you know, quite cold conditions, I definitely want to be able to do it up. And it's just pulling that little bit across my thighs there. So I'd probably actually get the 12 in that. They also do it in the black as well, so I'll try that one on there for you. Really nice. And there it is in the black. Very nice. Now that is the size 8 in the black, and that actually fits the same as the size 10 in the brown. So I would go up in the black to a size 10, and I would go up again in the brown to a size 12. That feels very luxurious. I'm not sure if the camera's picking up that or not. But yeah, that feels very lovely and warm. These are quite classic styles that are kind of always in fashion, really. It's how you wear them changes. So you might wear this with a wide leg jean, for example, or a trainer like I've got it on right now. So just more in a relaxed style rather than trying to make it more of a formal jacket. Yeah, I really like them. They always feel really nice and cosy. Now I know this is meant to be a um, video on coats but I couldn't resist showing you these because they sell out so quickly. These are my favourite shoes that I found in Master Spencer's. This is a burgundy but it also comes in the black but the heel is really quite small, it's probably an inch and a bit. Leather feels really nice. Loving the cowboy boot there, they just are classics, go with everything. These boots here, I had these last year, and they were more waterproof than my Shamu Wellies. So I ended up dog walking in those all the time. And we've got the beige ones with the zip up. These also come in the black, or there's lace up versions here. I'm about to buy these shoes here for myself. They're £35, they come in a wide fit and they're super comfy. I'm usually a four and a half-ish, but I'm having to take only a four in those. That's for our Christmas photo shoot. And then I really like those. I think they would look really nice under a wide pair of jeans. The heel's a good size. The toe is pointed, but it's a square point. So often a lot more comfortable than a point, but still gives you the elongation in your legs. So yeah, a really nice selection of shoes from Marks and Spencer's there. We will link as many as we can find for you. Okay, so I'm not sure on the lighting in here, but I'm in COS. I'm trying on the same coat that I bought last year and every time I wore this coat, but it was in the lighter beige colour, everybody asked me where it was from and it was already sold out. So, to warn you, they sell out really, really quickly. They're quite long, a little bit too long on me, but I just love the shape and love the colour. They seem to drape really nicely, but I am wearing a size extra small at the moment but I love this rich autonomous brown. It's the same as a brown Zara cardigan. But yeah, they are really, really lovely, but definitely sized down. Like I said, this is an extra small and they do it in a variety of different colors as well. Okay, so I am just in H&M. I've actually been in the changing rooms. I've tried on about eight or nine coats and I didn't put the camera on for any of them because quite frankly the quality just wasn't there this year which is really really unusual. That said I found this on my way out which is a bit of a dupe of the Anning Bing blazer. It's unlikely to say this but the coat that I've actually got on today, the black one which I'll put back on in a minute, is actually the nicest one that I found in H&M at the moment. That's my black coat. It's a lot thicker than all of the others in the store and it might be that the ones online are actually really nice but yeah right now I'm not finding anything much better than this offering but I really like this one. This one comes in the cream as well, but like I said at the start, it's very expensive. So I am trying to find you a better one. In fact, the Arquette one that I have also filmed, I'm not sure where it's going to be in the video, but that black one was really nice and I think that was a little cheaper as well. Okay, so I'm slightly eating my own words because I've just found this on my way out again. So this is a really nice puffer, pulls in at the waist there, 
Again, it's dark, so I'm not sure if you can pick it up on the camera. I have their down equivalent of this coat that they bought out last year, and I can categorically say that it was brilliant, really super warm. This is only the polyester version, but as a result, it's a lot cheaper, and it looks just as nice as well. But I think what I'm going to do, because I'm quite disappointed in what I've found in H&M, I'm going to go online and I'm going to put some pictures up of what I think would be the best picks from the ones online. I think, I don't know whether it's just this shop hasn't got the good quality ones in or what, but I know they do have lovely quality ones. So let me see if I can find them and if I can, they will follow next for you. So we're now in Zara. It's the smallest changing room in the world. As you can see, I've literally got nowhere to go whatsoever so I apologize I'll try and show you these things as quickly as I can so first up I've got a jacket which is very much like a barber coat so if you're in England you'll know barber as in we all walk our dogs in these they're waterproof and this is Zara's take on a barber it's short as you can see it's the green color it's got a hood I'm not sure if that, oh yeah that that hood is actually detachable as well but yeah I really like that something different I could see me with my long green wellies just some leggings underneath and that would be perfect for walking Monty in when it's not too cold basically but yeah I really like that I think it also looks really nice and stylish just styled with jeans too sorry because I can't get back any further I'm literally against the glass I can't show you the full head to toe shot but hopefully you can see it there there's a close-up on the fabric it's almost like wax like and I would imagine it would be at least shower proof if not waterproof but you need to look up yourself on the Zara website to check those details so next we've got just a big coat gun so it's half like a cardigan half like a coat again I can't get the full length in for you it's a gorgeous autonomal brown colour, a little short sure collar like that. I think I've got it on in an extra small but I will put the sizes in the comments box of what I've been wearing. And can you see how right now with the trainer it looks really casual? But I've actually got my boots in my bag so let me show you as soon as I add a boot that is going to elevate that outfit up really nicely. There you go, there it is with some boots on. So again, I'm trying to get as far back as possible, but essentially what that does is just elevate the look up slightly and changes a casual coaty gun into something that you could easily wear out if you needed just to elevate a coaty gun, cardigan type of look. I'd also add like a beanie to this look as well. So something like that. I bought this beanie in Arquette by the way. I just really like the colour of it. So I checked the size by the way and it's a size small that I'm wearing in this right now. It feels quite nice and heavy but it doesn't feel too stiff. So I think that one might be coming home with me. And now just a couple of bombers to show you. These ones are really nice actually. It's kind of like a felt wool type of fabric and the sleeves have got that really nice gathering on there which makes it look and feel a little bit different i really like that one actually so that's it for today's video thank you very much for watching i hope you found at least perhaps one coat that you like the look of in there and the video has helped you something that really helps us out is if you press that subscribe button so if you could do that would be most grateful so thank you very much for watching and we will see you again next week thank you